Hey guys, what's up? Joseph Buer here. So I posted a video earlier, um, which I have since removed about a issue I was having with uh, Clip Studio Paint and my new uh, Wacom Cintiq Pro 16. And, and I'll show you that right now. So um, if, as you can see, if I move the stylus right here, the cursor is way over here on the other side of the screen. And uh, this was a problem that I was having um, trouble fixing. Now this is a this is like a, a 4K monitor. So the original fix I found was to, um, and I'll just exit out of this real quick. This is the trial version, by the way. I'm not um, I'm not buying the uh, the full version until I have um, until I've used it more, even though it's only 40 bucks. So if I right click and oops, wrong wrong one. Okay. So if I right click on the icon and I go, go down to properties and I go up here to the compatibility tab and right here if you check override DPI scaling behavior so I'll just go ahead and check that and I'll click OK. Oh did I apply it? Hold on. Uh, I guess I didn't have to apply it but anyway. So I'm going to go ahead and open that back up, and over here I got to... It's interesting how the 4K monitor looks much nicer on the camera than my regular 1080p monitor over here on my laptop. Okay. So now if I'm drawing, you can see that fixes the problem but also you can see it made my menus incredibly small and hard to read and I, and that's because it's a uh, it's ignoring the scaling uh for the monitor like the monitor is 4K but it's scaling everything up about 300% uh, so it's ignoring that scaling, and that fixes the issue, but I, I don't like how it makes my monitors so small. I have the same problem in Krita, which is why I'm trying to uh, kind of uh, wean myself off of Krita. Um, I'd ra much rather use a, a program where I'm not going to have that issue on a such an expensive piece of hardware. So I'm going to go ahead and um, undo that. But if you don't have... Um, a 4K monitor like me and you've got like a regular HD pen display monitor then this might be okay for you using that method if you're having the same cursor issue. So now I'm going to go ahead and reopen the program and I'm going to show you the fix I found well, quite by accident actually so let me just go over here and um, use the trial version again blah 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 okay so here's the method I found um, that works. If you go over to File, and you go down to Preferences, now over here in the Tablet Settings under Coordinate Detection Mode, if you check on the uh, Use Mouse Mode setting in Tablet Driver Z, and click OK, you can see now it works. Now, uh, I haven't tested this on other tablets. This is the only pen display monitor that I have, but I found that it works for this one at least. So feel free to try it out with other tablets and see if that method works for you. Um, and yeah, just a little, little bit of uh, information to help people out who are having this uh, cursor off offset issue. Anyway, guys, that's it for this video. I'll catch you in the next one.